Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chemistry Chapter 6 Acid, Base, and Salt, Part 8. In this part, you will learn 6.9 Preparation of Salt 6.9 Preparation of Salts Solubility of Salts in Water Salts that dissolve in water are soluble salts. Example Sodium salts, potassium salts, ammonium salts, nitrate salts, ethanoate salts. Acronym S P A N E. Salts that do not dissolve in water are insoluble salts. Example Insoluble salts, carbonate salts, except NH42CO3, NA2CO3, K2CO3, chloride salts, except PBCL2, HGCL, AGCL, sulfate salts, except PBSO4, BASO4, CASO4, acronym for insoluble salts, HP chlorides, PBC sulfates, HHGCL2, P equals PBCL2, A equals AGCL, P equals PBSO4, B equals BASO4, C equals CASO4. Examples of soluble salts and insoluble salts. Preparing salts, the method used to prepare a salt, depends on the solubility of the salt in water. Soluble salt, all ammonium salt, sodium salts, and potassium salts. Neutralization reaction, between acid and alkali, titration, acid, react with alkali, become salt and water. Not ammonium salt, sodium salt, or potassium salt. Reaction between, acid plus reactive metal, acid plus metal oxide, acid plus metal carbonate. Insoluble salt, double decomposition reaction, precipitation reaction. Preparation of soluble salts, sodium, potassium salts, and ammonium salts, are prepared by neutralization reaction. Acid react with alkali, becomes salt, and water. Steps in preparing the salt, titration method. Step 1, titration, to find the end point. Neutralization is carried out to determine the volume of acid needed to neutralize a measured volume of alkali. The end point is the point in a titration at which the acid and alkali have completely reacted. The phenolphthalein indicator changes color from pink to colorless at end point. Step 2 Titrate without indicator. If indicator is added, the reaction products formed will be contaminated by the indicator. So the required volume of acid is now added to the same volume of alkali without using an indicator. Step 3 Crystallization Crystallization is carried out to obtain the salt crystals. The solution is heated until it is saturated to remove the water from the solution. The hot saturated salt solution is allowed to cool or evaporate for crystallization to take place. Step 4. Filtration and drying. The remaining water is then removed through filtration. The crystals formed are filtered out, washed with a little cold distilled water, and dried between sheets of filter paper. Example, to prepare a pure sample of potassium chloride salt by mixing hydrochloric acid, HCl with potassium hydroxide, KOH, KOH, aqueous, plus HCl, aqueous, become KCl, aqueous, plus H2O liquid. Neutralization is carried out to determine the volume of hydrochloric acid needed to neutralize 25 cm3 of potassium hydroxide, KOH. The phenolphthalein indicator changes color from pink to colorless at end point. The volume of hydrochloric acid needed is added to 25 cm3 of potassium hydroxide, 
KOH without indicator this time. Heat the solution slowly, to evaporate the water, so that a saturated solution is obtained. Let the saturated solution cool down, to allow crystallization to occur. Filter the contents, of the evaporating dish, to obtain potassium chloride crystals, KCL. Rinse the crystals, with a little amount of distilled water. Dry the crystals, by pressing them, between two pieces, of filter papers. Preparation of soluble salts, other than ammonium, sodium, and potassium salts, prepared by reacting dilute acids, with reactive metals, metal oxide or carbonates. Acid, plus reactive metal becomes salt, plus hydrogen, displacement reaction. Acid, plus metal oxide, becomes salt, plus water, neutralization reaction. Acid, plus metal carbonate, becomes salt, plus water, plus carbon dioxide. Step 1, excess metal, metal oxide, metal carbonate, is added to heated dilute acid. Step 2, filtration, to remove excess unreacted solid. Filter the mixture, to remove excess solid metal or metal oxide, or metal carbonate. Step 3, crystallization. 1. Evaporate the filtrate, until it becomes a saturated solution. 2. The hot saturated salt solution is allowed, to cool for crystallization, to occur. 3. Dip in a glass rod, if crystals are formed, the solution is saturated. Step 4, filtration to collect the solid salt, cooled at room temperature, the crystals formed are filtered out, washed with a little cold distilled water, and dried by pressing them, between sheets of filter paper. Example, prepare a pure sample of copper 2, nitrate, by mixing in nitric acid, HNO3, with a copper, 2, oxide, CuO. Copper 2, oxide is a base, and it neutralizes the nitric acid, according to the following equation. CuO, solid, plus 2 HNO3 aqueous, to become Cu, NO3, 2 aqueous, plus H2O, liquid. Add excess copper, 2, oxide, CuO into heated nitric acid, HNO3 into a beaker. Excess copper, 2, oxide, is used to ensure that, all the nitric acid is completely reacted. The black copper, 2, oxide, dissolves to form a blue solution. Filter the excess copper, 2, oxide powder, CuO from the mixture. Pour the filtrate into evaporating dish and heat the filtrate till a saturated salt solution is obtained. Let the saturated solution to cool until blue crystals of copper, 2, nitrate are formed. Filter the content of the evaporating dish to obtain the salt crystals. Rinse the crystals with a little amount of distilled water. Dry the salt crystals, by pressing them, between two pieces of filter papers. Purification of soluble salts, by recrystallization method. The soluble salt produced, might contain impurities during preparation. Therefore, the soluble salt, can be purified by the recrystallization method. Example, purification of copper, 2, sulfate crystals, CuSO4, Steps. Add distilled water into copper, 2, sulfate crystals while stirring. Heat the solution, to speed up the process, of dissolving the salt. Filter the hot salt solution, to remove insoluble impurities. Pour the filtrate, into an evaporating dish, and heat the filtrate, until a saturated solution is obtained. Let the saturated solution cool, until salt crystals are formed. Filter the contents of the evaporating dish to get the salt crystals. Rinse the crystals with a little amount of distilled water. Dry the crystals by pressing them between two pieces of filter papers. Preparation of insoluble salts. Insoluble salts 
are prepared by double decomposition reaction, precipitation method. In the double decomposition reaction, two different soluble salt solutions are mixed to produce an insoluble salt. The ions in both aqueous solutions exchange with each other to form a new aqueous solution and a precipitate. AB plus CD become AD plus CB. A. The first solution is from a soluble salt containing the cation of the insoluble salt. B. The second solution is from a soluble salt containing the anion of the insoluble salt. Example AgNO3 aqueous plus KCl aqueous become AgCl solid plus KNO3 aqueous. Steps Choose two suitable soluble salt solutions, which contains the cation and anion of the salt, to be prepared respectively. Mix the two solutions. Filter, wash, and dry the precipitate formed. The precipitate formed is removed by filtration. The precipitate is then washed with distilled water and dried by pressing it between sheets of filter paper. Example. Prepare barium sulfate salt. Barium sulfate, cation, equals Ba2+. Plus. Choose any soluble Ba2 plus salts, such as barium chloride, BaCl2, anion, equals SO4, 2 negative. Choose any soluble sulfate salts, such as sodium sulfate, and A2SO4. Barium sulfate is formed, according to the following equation. Chemical equation, BACL2 aqueous plus NA2SO4 aqueous become BASO4 solid plus 2NACL aqueous. Ionic equation, BA2 plus aqueous plus SO4 2 negative aqueous become BASO4 solid. Na plus and Cl negative ions are spectator ions which do not take part in the reaction. Barium chloride, BaCl2 solution and sodium sulfate solutions are chosen. Mix the barium chloride and sodium sulfate solutions together. Solid white insoluble precipitate of barium sulfate is formed. Filter, wash and dry the precipitate formed. Remove the precipitate by filtration. The precipitate is then washed with distilled water and dried by pressing it between sheets of filter paper. Example, prepare copper, 2 carbonate. Cation, equals Cu2+. Plus. Choose any suitable copper, 2 salts, such as copper, 2 sulfate, CuSO4, aqueous, anion, equals CO3, 2 negative. Choose any carbonate salts such as sodium carbonate and A2CO3 aqueous. When the two salt solutions are mixed, a blue precipitate of copper 2 carbonate is formed. Copper 2 sulfate plus sodium carbonate become copper 2 carbonate plus sodium sulfate. CuSO4 aqueous plus an A2CO3 aqueous become CuCO3 solid plus an A2SO4 aqueous. Ionic equation, Cu squared plus aqueous, plus CO3 2 negative, aqueous, become CuCO3 solid. Example, to prepare lead 2, iodide, lead 2 iodide contains, Pb2 plus, an I negative, lead 2, iodide, is formed according to the following equation. Chemical equation, Pb, NO3, 2, aqueous, plus 2Ki aqueous, become PbI2, solid, plus 2KNO3, aqueous. Ionic equation, Pb2 plus, aqueous, plus 2I negative, aqueous, become PbI2, solid. Yellow precipitate, of lead, 2, iodide formed. Constructing ionic equations using the continuous variation method. The continuous variation method 
is used to construct the ionic equation for the formation of insoluble salts. The volume of one solution, A is fixed, while solution B is added by increasing the volume. The height of the precipitate increases gradually for the first few tubes and then becomes constant. The first test tube that achieves the maximum height of the precipitate indicates that all reactants has completely reacted with one another. Determine the volume of reactant B required to react completely with a fixed volume of reactant A. Use the results to calculate the number of moles of reactants A and number of moles of reactants B, which reacted completely with each other. Determine the simplest mole ratio of reactant A to reactant B which combine to form one mole of the insoluble salt. Use the ratio to construct the ionic equation. Example, 10 cm3 of 0.25 moles per decimeter cube lead, 2, nitrate solution, reacts completely with 5 cm3 of 1.0 per decimeter cube potassium iodide solution. A yellow precipitate of lead, 2 iodide is formed. Construct the ionic equation for the formation of lead 2 iodide. Solution Number of moles of Pb2 plus ions in lead 2 nitrate solution equals mv over 1000 equals 1 1.0 moles per decimeter cube times 10 over 1000 decimeters cube equals 0025 mole number of moles of I negative ions in potassium iodide solution equals MV over 1000 equals 1 1.0 moles dm cube times 5 over 1000 decimeters cube equals 0 0.005 moles. Simplest mole ratio of P2 plus ions is to I negative ions equals 0 0.0025 is to 0 0.005 equals 0 0.0025 over 0 0.0025 is to 0 0.005 over 0 0.0025 equals 1 is to 2. Ionic equation Pb squared plus aqueous plus 2i negative aqueous become PBI2 solid. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.